name so I know how to spell it and everything. All right. Kyle Goddard. Spell it. Kyle G O D D A R D. Okay. Okay, tell me about what you're doing over here. Um, this semester is basically getting ready for my senior project doing next semester trying to find a different problem I'm going to work on. And I was jumping around between figurative, abstract, and working into a holistically concrete way. Trying to decide which one I want. Mm -hmm. uh, so is, I'm working with size safe and position rather than color composition, so I limited myself to just basic white, black, a little bit of red and gray worked its way in after a while. Um, that's getting a minute. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tell me about working big. Working big. I like working big because it gives me the range of motion I want. I like more, being able to completely work from the shoulder and stand up. When I work small, I just feel cramped. It takes me a long time to do it. I don't really do much. The, Quite on set. <laughs> um, sorry about that. It's okay. There. Tell me about the drawings on the floor. Um, these are the drawings I did earlier in the semester. It's, it's warming up. I had some more in here, but I just put them up in the show. Um, these drawings are trying to work with organic against the geometric lines around it. Trying to squeeze in the figure, the forms, and the curves, the bones and muscles against the harsh geometry. Um, also, again, I don't really like to work small, so it might cost more, but it's fine for me. So, so tell me about the uh, contrasting the organic form against the geometry. Um, yeah, I try to work in, like, compress all the organic straight into the center and have it just one big ball of curves and line concave. Uh, not too much of different variation of lines, but some thick and bold, and then mechanically drawn sharp geometric lines in the background behind it. So maybe they'll even out, because the organic kind of push down with all the concave, and the geometric will bounce up next to it. It works pretty well. I think these probably need a little bit more space around the organic to crush it in better. Okay. Tell me about the pure form. Um, let's see. This, it all came from all spring after I did this figure. I was almost a little more interested in just the chair in itself. And I started working it. It became a concrete shape. And I wanted to see if I could start making it float, like more shapes just floating around and work, in, work with it. So I tried a variety of different ingredients. And I was pretty happy with this, but I think this is what it worked out better as. It just when I got rid of all the legs and everything holding it up, it just locks itself into the plane. Well, tell me how, how it was working with all the other students in the big, big space. It was pretty good. We really liked this large space. It worked well for all of us. We got to branch out and have the size of work we need, all our own space. Most people get to feed off each other and ideas are working. I think it was a good atmosphere. What are you going to do next? What uh, are your plans for the future? Next semester, I'll work on my senior project, hopefully start working on starting shows. And after I graduate, I'll plan to go to get my master's in painting. Then what? Then hopefully either teach university level or just find whatever job I can.